Hello guys and very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica. Today I'm going to do a first impression on eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is her new, let me see, Instant Eye Palette. Smoky Eyes Are Forever Palette. So yeah, we're going to try it out and see if we like it. And yeah, if this is the first time here, as I said, my name is Angelica. On this channel, it's almost all about makeup. I love neutral makeup. I love colorful makeup. I love to play with makeup. I love to talk about makeup. So if you enjoy that, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell because I upload three videos a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But next week though, I am not sure if I will be able to put up three videos next week. Maybe there will be one, maybe there will be two, and maybe there will be three. I have no idea. I have so much to do uh, in the week and also in the weekend so I'm not sure if I will be able to film but just so you know uh, but usually I post Monday Wednesday and Fridays but let's go ahead and get started with this video so I'm just gonna show you I got this palette no I not <laughs> rephrase <laughs> I bought this palette but I bought like an advent calendar uh, maybe I will put up a picture like this advent calendar and you got this palette with that purchase. If you just want this palette, it will retail for 75 euros. Yeah, you heard me right. I would never like pay that much for this. I wanted the advent calendar. So yeah, I got this as well in that package. So I'm going to show you up close what this is. So this is the outer packaging. It's black with stars. It's very like uh, holiday inspired, I feel like. Very festive. And then you have the palette. So it's black. It says Charlotte Tilbury. It's the, it's the vibe of her palette from before, the bigger palette. And when you open it up, you have a mirror and you have like a cheat that it says the shade names, that it says the shade names. And this is the palette. So you have like four sections with three shades and you have five mattes and seven shimmers. So uh, you have some small color stories here and you have some lighter shades. You have some more cocky green shades some reds and like purpley brown black <laughs> smoky <laughs> and yeah we're gonna try it out I'm gonna do a first impression as I said this retails for 75 euros if you want to purchase this one and I prime my eyes with the Kiko Milana eyeshadow base and I'm gonna zoom you guys in now okay let's start you can use this one as a transition shade but I feel like this is very like cool tone grayish I want this red here so I'm gonna start with this red and then we're gonna see I'm gonna just use like a bigger fluffy brush just to see how pigmented it is and oh yeah this is super pigmented so maybe we need to use the transition shade we're gonna see my thought is just to buff it out a little bit and make this as a transition shade and like a deeper shade as well maybe i think i can manage this one <laughs> i have one eyeshadow palette from Char charlotte from before it's a quad and it's the mesmerizing maroon palette so i like that one it's nothing wrong with that i reach for it actually from time to time when i go to work it's very like easy eyeshadow palette I have so many eyeshadow palettes though, so I didn't need this one, but it came like, I thought it was going to be like in the actual calendar, this beauty calendar, but it wasn't. It was like, you got it separate from that. So it was not like it was in that specific calendar, but I'm very excited to, to have this calendar. It's just, 12 like things in that so it's not like 25 or 24 things so how is this going this is going great i mean i'm just building it up and buff it out it's a nice color it looks red more red in the pan than actual on the eyes but it's more brownish red on the eyes you can see this is building really nice you can get it really dark with this shade 
That I didn't expect actually, because it doesn't look this dark in the pan, but obviously you can build it to be a really deep shade. That is stunning. Okay, now I'm going in with the deep brown here, this one, and we're just gonna see, can we make this any deeper here? Yeah, this one feels like it's even darker, so that's good. I'm gonna deepen up here. I like that this is so dark, that you can go really, really dark with this. That is beautiful. I really like this. I feel like these two shadows, <laughs> these two shadows are easy to work with. So, are we going to go with the pink? Maybe I'm going to just put a little bit more under my eyes. I just took the red underneath and I'm taking this flat brush with a deep dark brown. It's very close here to my overall eyeshine. Okay, now it looks like this. And now we're going in with the shimmers. And I feel like this red isn't that sparkly as this one. This is really sparkly, so I do want this one, but I think I want these two because, yeah. I'm gonna take my brush, but maybe I'm gonna use my finger as well, just to see. But we're gonna start with this red that I am going to spray. It's my fixing spray, I always do that. And let's just put it, ooh. Okay, this is very shimmery, like metallic. I don't think I expected that when I was <laughs> looking into the pan. You can see it's very, it's very like metallic, but in the pan, it doesn't look that sparkly. And that was a good surprise, actually. This is a really nice shade for this, like, smoky eye. So I'm just putting it here. Okay, I'm just going to flip my brush and take the other side. And we're going to go in with this one. Let's just put... Ooh! Okay. This looks really pretty. A little more gold. It's darker than I expected because it looks so much lighter than the red one. You can see it's not that big of a difference when it comes to like lighter and dark. These are really nice actually. <laughs> I didn't know what I was expecting of this but it really looks pretty. I'm gonna take a small brush and dip into this one. Let's see here like this pink. You're gonna have that underneath the eye and then we're gonna have the really light one like as an inner corner highlight. I think these are deeper than they look in the pan somehow because this pink also is a little bit deeper. It's beautiful. They're very smooth. <laughs> Super smooth. Then I think I want to take this one because this is the lightest because you have this one as well, a little more pink, but I'm going to take this more icy shade here in my inner corner. Looks super sparkly. Just because they look very light in the pan, but when you get them on, yeah, it's actually deeper. It's something like metallic with them that they transform somehow. They have like dimension, like an undertone. They have like a base to it. And then they have something, look at that, that is beautiful. I can see they have a base that you can't see in the pan. Like this one has like a pink base because this just looks icy. But this has like a pink base to it and then like sparkles. Okay, well, I think I really like this. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up this eye look off camera, just put lashes and everything, and put something on my lips. I come back, I show you like a close up of this look, and then we can talk about this palette. And yeah. Okay, the look is finished, guys. And what do you think? I really like it. I was really impressed with these <laughs> shades I used today, so that's good. Let me tell you what I have on my eyes. I put this 
brown eyeliner from Colourpop and this is in the shade Stomper and also some lashes. These are the Allure Most Wanted Lust List Lashes. I think they look cute and this is the combo I use for my lips. I use this lip pencil from NYX and this is the in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. And then I used a small tiny tiny little lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Pillow Talk, the classic one. This is so small you guys. I got this for free when I ordered. So super cute. I really like the shade. Okay, that said, let's talk about this palette. So the shades I used today, you can say I'm really impressed because the thing is, this doesn't look like it does in the pan. That is the most surprise for me. Uh, this is very fingerprinty, by the way, <laughs> if you like. Like, for instance, this one. This, you can go so deep with this shade, even deeper than it actually looks in the pan. And that's pretty cool, I think. It's not that red as it is in the pan. I feel like it's more like a brownish red. Here it actually looks really red, but I really like that. And this one is super deep as well, this brown here. And the shimmers has something like to it. This doesn't feel that shimmery, but on the lid, you can see it's super metallic. And also this one. And I feel like the shimmers I used today, these four, it feels like they have something else in it, like a base to it, and then they have this sparkle to it. So they have like two, two shades almost. More like a deeper basic color, and then some sparkle that is a little bit lighter. And because I thought this one was going to be this light, but it was deeper. All of these was like a little more deeper than it looks in the pan, but I really like it. Yeah, I am very curious to see how these greens will perform on the eyes, so I will try that <laughs> when I go to work. But for a first impression, I am a little bit surprised, very surprised actually, about this palette. Uh, it didn't look like it does, or it's something like, in, in a good way, <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, I am, I am so happy I have it now and I'm gonna play with it more because I think this will be a really nice everyday palette for me. Just because these shimmers are also very like metallic, that surprised me as well. Anyways guys, this was it. I really hope you have enjoyed this little video and this first impression. Tell me down below, do you own this palette or do you own other eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte? Tell me what you think about it. Uh, I mean, is it worth 75 euros? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can tell you that right away. I mean, if you want, I am like that anyway. If I like a brand like Charlotte Tilbury, I can splurge uh, that money on that brand maybe, but I have so many eyeshadow palettes. So for me to splurge on a expensive eyeshadow palette from Charlotte, maybe not. But if she would come out with a foundation that is really expensive and I feel like I, I really need a foundation or I want to try this foundation, I'm going to use it a lot. Of course I can <laughs> pay that money because I know it's a good brand. And that's really hard for me to tell you is this worth the money because everyone gonna pay what they want. Like maybe you're paying for the brand and the good quality. I mean, you're, you're gonna use this so, so much. Then it's worth 75 euros. But for me that has so many eyeshadow palettes, it's not worth, uh, paying that much. Now I got it in this like kit, but just this one I wouldn't buy. But I mean, that's why I can't tell you if it's worth the money. I can say it's a really good quality. So if you like Charlotte Tilbury, if you like this color story, go for it. I mean, these shades I used today, no complaints at all. I was super impressed. So, I mean, then it's worth the money for you. But if you don't want to splurge 75 uh, euros on a palette, then it's not worth it for you. So, I think the quality is there and I'm so excited to just play with it more, all the shades, and then I come back to you and maybe do a little uh, review or something or uh, maybe ranking my latest palette or something, then you will see my final thoughts when I've used all the shades. But that was it guys. And as I said in the beginning, I don't know how next week's gonna look. Maybe I will have a vlog up because I have 
I have vlogged during these weeks. I mean, so this vlog you're gonna see next is going to be maybe two weeks ago. So, but I try to vlog like when I have the time and when I do something fun and then I edit it and then I put it up. So it's Maybe it will be a vlog, but I have no idea if I'm going to be able to put up a video next week, like a makeup related video that I haven't pre-filmed because I haven't pre-filmed uh, anything right now for next week. So uh, just so you know, and if there is going to be a video, there will be, or if it's not, you know why. And I see you in my next video then. <laughs> Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye.